WMSC's Local Live is supported by Club Garibaldi. Located at 2501 South Superior Street in Bayview. Open seven days a week, Club Garibaldi serves burgers, hot wings, and more. And features live music weekly. For more information and Club Garibaldi's live music events, visit clubgaribaldi.com. Now live from the Bob and Jeannie Freeman Live Performance Studios here at WMSE, we bring you the sounds of Wavy V.
Welcome, local live with Wavy V. We got them all in here. Hi. Hello. With, hello. How are you guys? It's good. 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 It's nice to have you in the studio. 
Thanks nice for having to be us. here. Yeah. Are you super, super pumped because your, your single release is coming up on Friday? Oh, Very yeah. much. Yeah. Good. I didn't think you were going to give me a different answer, so <laughs> 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 I'd be worried. All right. So uh, you all want to go around and say your name and what you play so people can, you know, relate a, a voice to a person. Uh, Ryan and I play bass. Um, Heather, I play the percussion. Moni and I play uh, keys and flute and do some singing. My name's Riles. Um, I write the songs and I play a little bit of, of keyboard and some guitar and do some singing. My name's Olivia and I play flute and tenor saxophone. And I'm Emily and I sing. All right, I'm sure all of our listeners have you all memorized now. <laughs> um, so after being together about three years, is that right? Um, what was what was the? Uh, it, it took you a while to put something out, I guess, is what I'm asking. What what was the what was the reason that that it took so long? Quality control. Yeah. <laughs> you want to answer? Um, yeah, we we d had done some recording previously, and um, we're working with us uh, like changing um, some of the instrumentation and that took a, a little while longer okay um, with six um, people it's kind of hard to schedule rehearsals and get everybody in the studio yeah and listen to it and, and mix it and um, there's a little bit of a turnaround for um, pressing vinyl as well um, so yeah we wanted to be make sure that we were happy with how it sounded and we also started out with somebody living, Emily lived in New York at the time, and then That's still the wasn't in Milwaukee for a while, and we had people being out of the country for long periods of time, so we kind of got a slow start. And then I had a baby. Too. And then he had a baby. <laughs> okay. Well, those are all justifiable reasons. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so I was kind of wondering because like having seen you guys so long ago uh, are those songs like that you played in those early shows is that still part of the the repertoire like are those still part of the your main uh, canon of tunes yeah yeah I think it's um, I mean a lot of the stuff that we are playing um, again we've changed instrumentation a little bit and we've um, added and lost members and um I think we also wanted to, I don't know, we've been kind of evolving as we go, and some of those songs we've wanted to go back to and work on, and um, there's so much going on in the music that it takes a long time to get it to sound the way we would like it to sound before we go out and play it and or record it. And that makes sense. Yeah. It sounded very much dialed in for your set, I must say. So. Oh, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. It was worth the wait. Thank you. <laughs> so... Um, Anyone who knows the Candeliers knows I eat the Candeliers dissolved like 10 years ago or whatever. Uh, so how did you all join forces since I know Emily, you were in the Candeliers, Riles, and Ryan. Mm -hmm. um, how did the rest of you meet up? I'm going to answer this one again. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Grab that mic. We, Riles and Ryan and I really enjoyed playing together in the Candeliers and after that um, broke apart we just wanted to continue playing together, and so uh, we formed Wavy V, and we love playing with Moni and Heather and Olivia. Um, you know, and I think like Moni plays in three other bands, and Olivia is a professional freelance musician. Did I say that right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So you know, and we just when I was in Riles, and I I think we met in a bike shop. Okay. And he was like, I heard you played cymbals once in a marching band in the neighborhood. And I said, yeah, that was me once. <laughs> and he's like, well, you should stop by for a practice sometime. <laughs> so that, that's how I evolved. That's uh, awesome. The band. Ha Heather told us recently sh that she thought that we just were asking her to play with us so that we could mark time. <laughs> that we didn't want her as a drummer, which is not true. We didn't want her as a drummer. I was okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Um, what other groups do you perform in, Moni and Olivia? Oh, I'm closer to the mic. Um, so this is Moni. I uh, play with Peeper in the Play and Laurel Sulfate and her Ladies of Leisure and uh, my own solo thing, Bag Song, Cal, I know, has seen. Yes. 
<laughs> Very entertaining. Thank you. Shout out Circle A. Yeah, <laughs> love that, love playing at that place. Um, I perform with a recently formed folk group called Niedhofer, and so that's the other band that I'm in. I also play in a woodwind quintet and sub with a different regional orchestras and musical theater productions. Um, and I play in DIY Chamber Music, which is a group that plays in River West a lot, and that's actually how I know Riles. Okay. Oh, cool. he's composed works for us to play before. Okay, so... Um the whole group of you between like 2009 and today did you continue to share songs and ideas with each other even though like Emily was in New York and there are other things going on um, how did that all start yeah I was I was in living in California and Emily was in New York and um, Ryan was in Milwaukee still back home, still back home. <laughs> and I was I was um, recording and I was writing songs um, and sending them to them and kind of uploading it and, and sharing the links with them and getting some feedback. And at that point, they were really just um, notes and words. There wasn't a whole lot there. That was about 2014, maybe 2015. Mm -hmm. um, and so then it took about a year and a half before we were all in the same time zone so we could meet regularly. And, and at that point, um, I was in Milwaukee, but Emily was still in Madison, so we were uh, kind of recording practices without her and sending her um, rehearsal recordings, and she was kind of working on her part, um, and we, we got together a few times. Oh, man, this has been a <laughs> longer project than most people probably realize. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's well, cool. You know, and I think the other thing is Ryan and Riles and I in particular played together long enough that I, I think instinctually we understand each other musically and <laughs> emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> Very important, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, can you tell people a little bit about um, like activities, records, which doesn't officially exist anymore, right? But it's sort of the community, the community that you guys came from. Um, yeah. Um, we put out a, f a few records. We recorded a few records and didn't know what to do with them, and we were really excited to see um, to see them finished. And um, s you know, had a few side projects and other bands that we were um, rehearsing and performing with uh, for uh, a, a couple of years. And um, some of that is still around. There's still um, a website, I think, and. Uh, you can still access those recordings, which I'm still really proud of. Um, and you know, like like Monica said, people in the play is is doing some amazing things um, as well. Uh, Scrimshaw is still around, I'm sure, as you know. Um, <laughs> I think Jen is play, plays with them. Indeed, right? yeah. Um, and you know, uh, other people in the in the crew um ravi lola's still doing i think they just had a record release so they're finishing one up right they're now. finishing one up yeah they're producing really uh a whole lot and, and really good stuff too um i don't you know with the internet i don't see much of a reason to uh run a record label when you can you know go to band camp or or things like that it's right. just um more of a a promotional vehicle than uh, like a pressing and distribution vehicle. Yeah. Well, it's cool that the community is still like, seems like such a tight knit bunch of people and it's great that there's still all this creativity brewing out of that community. So if you haven't seen Peeper in La Play, you really <laughs> have to see Peeper in La Play. <laughs> it's just, it's the visual. Oh, it's just really good. Visually, it's just amazing. <laughs> I think um, we can all vouch for that. Yes. I think we don't have like a ton of time, but I wanted to, you know, Cal and I both wanted to touch on the fact that, you know, your music, obviously it's modern, but it feels a little bit retro. Um, did you implement any retro techniques when you were in the studio recording, like any old school equipment or yeah. is it pretty much, you not, know? Not particularly. I mean... Um, it's all fairly, uh, you know, analog. We record the flutes with mics and uh, whatnot. Um, you know, there's a bit of studio 
sweetening and whatnot, but um, it was done all uh, digitally. Um, you want to talk about that? Yeah, more? the way we do it is kind of um, old old school, and that's we we try to perform together. We try to perform and look and you know be able to see each other. And sometimes uh, some of us don't even have to wear headphones. We're just kind of you know creating that original r recording live, and then fixing the keyboard notes because we did that direct and maybe overdubbing the flutes and catching the vocals so they're isolated. Um, but the the basis is like a live performance, which, you know, a lot of people do, but I think um, a popular way in the modern way is just do this click track thing and do one instrument at a time and, and then, you know, auto tune or whatever um, as you go and kind of build it that way, which is uh, is you know kind of a technique that we also utilize. All of our auto tune is done without auto tune. <laughs> <laughs> so. Analog auto tune. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just do it again. Do it again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's probably a, a very rewarding <laughs> yeah. process. Well, uh, we should probably get you guys back out for your second mm -hmm. set. Um, what are we starting off with? Here? What'll I do? You're gonna start with. Is there anything you'd like to say about that tune in particular? Any of you? Uh, it's a fun one. Uh, What'll I do? And then the following song are both on our upcoming release. Oh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And awesome. uh, yeah, they're fun songs to play, and they were fun to put together on record. Excellent. Awesome. Well, we'll have Wavy V out in the studio for their second set in just one moment. Do not go anywhere. Been out. 
I wonder if it's real or a thing just faster in time. And if I answer it, then maybe I find out how to get to the other end.
This is Joe Wong, host of The Trap Set, a show about the lives of... It's a little bit funny. All right, here we are at the end of the segment with Way VV for This Is Your Song, where they tell us uh, a group or a person that's influenced their own music, and Ryan Miracle bass player has been appointed the person in the band to talk about the pick so what did you pick all right well i have this album in front of me um it's from 1969 uh it's called run and jump and stand and still and it's by uh spider john kerner and willie murphy um both of them are uh i guess still living in the twin cities as they were way back in the day um and we chose the song uh good night which is the last song on the album and it's a good way to send off our set all right, there you have it. <laughs> We're going to hear Good Night from uh, Spider John Kerner and Willie Murphy here on WMSC's This Is Your Song. This one's for you. Good night, good night, that's right, good
not so young as I was And a little now would be quite nice Thanks to all our listeners for tuning in to tonight's edition of Local Live on WMSE. Local Live is a production of WMSE Radio, recorded and broadcast live from the Bob and Jeannie Friedman Live Performance Studio on the downtown campus of the Milwaukee School of Engineering. Local Live is produced by Aaron and myself and engineered by Billy Cicerelli. Video by Moleskin Productions. Hospitality for Local Live artists provided by Cedar Teeth Pizza, who can be found online at cedarteeth.com. Anodyne Coffee, who can be found online at anodynecoffee.com, and by Sprecher Brewing Company. More information at SpreckerBrewery.com. For upcoming guests and archives of past local live performances, visit WMSE.org. And tune in again next Tuesday at 6 p.m. for another edition of Local Live with, as we mentioned, Warhol Cats. Yep, it'll be a lot of fun. Yes, so indeed. Tune in. All right, Midnight Radio is up next. Do not go anywhere.